What if you have a passion for high-performance cars, but you don't want a gas-guzzling machine? You create a race car that's stylish and fast and extremely green. I know what you're thinking. How cool is this car? Well, believe me, we haven't seen the half of it. This elegant beast is the X1, and this is its designer, Ian Wright. Pretty amazing car. Thanks. Why don't we uh, get out and you can tell us all about it. Okay, let's do it. So besides being incredibly good looking, what is the X1? It's fast. <laughs> it's it's a, very fast. <laughs> it's a prototype electric sports car, and that gives you two things that are very unusual. One, it's extremely fast. It does 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, 0 to 100 in 6.8. Uh, but on the other hand, it uses very little energy. It does the energy equivalent of about 170 miles per gallon in city driving. But when I'm looking at this car, this does not like, when, when you think about an electric car, this is not what you imagine. Yeah, most people think they're golf carts. They're heavy, ugly, and slow. Yeah. yeah. So that was a big part of what I wanted to change was people's perception that electric cars have to be like that. And no, they don't have to be like that. Uh, so what powers this baby? Battery pack is down here. It's these large black boxes that run through here. What kind of batteries are they? They're lithium polymer batteries. It's a high power, large format battery. They're sort of related to the kind you use in cell phones and laptops, but those batteries are not designed for high power. Right. Um, it's a pure electric car, so it gets all of its energy from the wall plug. There's no fuel involved at all. So what next? The motor is here. The very nice thing about electric motors like this one is that they have an incredibly wide torque curve. So in this car, it'll do zero to 105 miles an hour in one gear. So there is no clutch, and then you never have to shift. The whole system is, seems incredibly clean and efficient. Yeah, um, mechanically, it's very, very simple. You know, the motor's got one moving part. There's one gear in the transmission. And that's basically it. So this is you know, the inversion of 100 years of automotive technology. Suddenly, we don't have to have a thirsty car to have a fast one. We can have as much power as we want, and it's still really efficient. So where does a car like this lead to for the average person on the street? The original thought was that ultimately we'd all be driving electric cars. I've come to realize that that's probably not going to happen. And the reason for that is the range limitation, which is a bigger problem than you, th than you think in, until you own an electric car and drive it all the time. And that gets you to the second problem, which is they're so expensive. There's a $40,000 battery pack in this car. So there isn't any way you can make a $30,000 electric car. So for those two reasons, I think we're going to wind up in the end with plug-in series hybrid technology. So essentially an electric car with a fuel-burning generator on board that's a range extender. So you've got the best of both worlds. Most days you don't burn any fuel, but if you need to go out there and turn the key and drive to Los Angeles 400 miles, you can do that. So I think that's where we wind up in the end. So ultimately all this design, what this is leading to for you, is an advanced hybrid design.